So it was my first year of graduate school. Um, I went to UNC Chapel Hill to study math. My plan was to get a PhD. And I had been out of college, out of math, not studying math for about six years. And the professor said, you know, we've had some experiences in the past where some of the students weren't strong enough to be successful in the course. So we're going to give you a test tomorrow to see if you're ready for this course. And I got the lowest score of anyone in my program which is really embarrassing, you know? So I was already sort of an outsider because I was older than everybody else. And I basically had to wear this sign on my forehead that said, I shouldn't be here. So for the first sort of three months of graduate school, I had this big stigma against me, I felt like, where I had to prove something um, and that I wasn't really supposed to be there. I worked really, really hard. I mean, I every assignment, I spent probably twice as much time as almost anybody else in the class. And I would go to office hours, and this professor was kind of scary. And so no one would go to his office hours to get help, because when you went in, he would say, what's your question? And you'd start talking, and he would just hand you a whiteboard marker. And he would say, go write your, go start writing. So anytime anybody had a question, if we couldn't answer it among ourselves, they said, okay, Christine, you're gonna go see this professor and get our question answered for us. So a lot of it was just willing to say, I don't know what I'm doing and getting help. 